Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Forex BKS. Today is 15th of April 2022. Uh, Friday. Let's check out some, uh, let's scan for some uh, trade setup. Let's see whether market present any opportunity for us or not. Before we start, subscribe, like, share, and comment. And uh, let's check out the introduction. Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, let's check out the calendar. So what do we have here? So when it's Tuesday, we got a inconsistent CPI number from the, U, from the US. Okay, uh, Monday CPI went up, but the core CPI went down. Huh? So the USD aren't very, aren't strong. Uh, during Tuesday, okay, but Wednesday rebound a bit. Uh, after the uh, good PPI numbers, uh, okay, good PPI numbers, and also we got this uh, cat, okay, cat overnight rate went up from uh, 0.5% to 1%. Okay, so there's a big push for the uh, 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 cat. Also, New Zealand, okay, we got official cash rate that went up. From a one a expected 1.25, but it went up 1.5. Okay, so this is a good for the uh, New Zealand dollar. So other than that, Thursday we have uh, AUD and employment data aren't so great. Then we got a uh, retail sales from US also inconsistent. Call retail sales went up, but retail sales went down. Okay, so uh, a bit uh, a lot quite a lot of conflict data. So of course today <laughs> we got all the a uh, lot of bank holiday and eh? New Zealand, eh, Australia, Swiss franc, German holiday, you know, coming for the Easter holiday, right? So coming to the Easter Sunday. So uh today we'll be quite uh, <laughs> today market will be a little bit quiet. Okay, nonetheless, nonetheless, we just take a quick look at the market. See what is going on. Okay, look at the currency by itself, DXY. Okay, DXY is consolidating over here. Uh, not going up, not going down, but uh, the, but the, the US did recover, the DXY did recover uh, uh, yesterday. Okay, after perceived to be a drop, a bullish, a bearish engulfing, but it didn't happen. That's why we don't want to trade. Okay, we don't want to trade against the trend. Always trade with the trend. Huh? Okay, this is an uptrend. We always trade with the trend. So uh, look at the X, look at Euro, Euro, we have pin bar over here. So Euro still looks uh, negative to me. That's why it's still positive. Uh, British pound, okay, British pound still look negative to me. Oh, no doubt we got double bottom, but probably there will be a rebound over here, but the long term is still weak. Okay, Swiss franc, Swiss franc getting very weak. Huh? Okay, big drop here, Swiss franc. So Swiss franc is uh, getting worse. Japanese yen, okay, continue to be weak. Uh, Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar is in the range over here. So, uh, uh, let me put it, Canadian dollar, we put it as neutral first. AUD, okay, AUD is, uh, is still on an uptrend despite a drop. Huh? NZD also, despite a drop, is still in an uptrend. So, this is uh, the strong currency, is DXY, AUD, and NZD. Okay, look at Euro USD. So you are you are still looking for a pullback, okay? We are still looking for a pullback for a sell opportunity, one point one zero four eight three or one point zero nine seven one three, or uh, is there a possible sell opportunity around here one point zero eight eight two eight? Probably not, okay? Because here it's really started to congest, uh, okay? Congestion area. And we have to wait and see, but probably I will wait for a re. I will wait wait for a. 
uh, replacement pound USD pound USD we got bearish engulfing here okay so possible wait for retracement towards 1.31742 or 1.32864 USD JPY USD GPY continue going up So also, okay, this one wait for a rebound, uh, wait for retracement towards 125, 123 and 122 area only we want to look for any buy opportunity. AUD, USD. Okay, AUD, USD, we are, on a re ha, we are on a retracement back. We are on a retracement. So this one, uh, Probably want to look for buy opportunity, okay? Probably want to look for buy opportunity somewhere around this area. Zero point seven four six two one, so zero point seven three nine six nine, or zero point seven three three six one. New Zealand dollar USD, okay. New Zealand dollar USD is this. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, you see, there's some changes in our chart in my chart. Uh, okay, so I got made some changes in my chart. The changes are. You see the line, uh, okay. Uh, I no more. I no. I doesn't. I no more use this uh, uh, big dotted line for weekly. Okay, weekly now I put the uh, uh, orange color. Okay, these are weekly levels. These are daily level. Blue color daily level. The orange is weekly level, and this is the bias line. Uh, bias line means above is bullish, below is bearish. Uh, okay, so uh. Probably the bias line went up here. Okay, zero point six eight. 079 okay if the price re rebound above here we will go for we will look for buy opportunity so uh let me see okay so uh okay so any rebound if the price continue to drop below okay, 0 0.68 uh 0 0.68 Zero seven nine. Okay, we we'll look for sell. Uh, okay, if the price con continue to drop, so uh, therefore here right. Okay, this consolidation area is important. Okay, a rebound above zero point six eight zero seven nine. We look for buy. Okay, a rejection below. We look for sell. Yes, we can. Okay, cat has been a bit sideways. Uh, you can see right. USD cat actually is running in this sideways price action. So. I'm not very keen to trade this. Oh, this is hard. Look at that. Very sideways. Sideways, sideways, sideways. Yes. Yeah, just two sideways to trade. Probably this one, right? Probably I will change my strategy on this one. Probably what I what I would like to do is sell the top, buy the bottom. Okay, probably I will do this in a range bound uh price uh range bound movement. Uh, USD CHF, you know Swiss franc is very weak, so we wait for a buy opportunity. Okay, a drop. 
Okay, any pullback, if you look for buy on any pullback around these two area, 0 0.93610 or 0 0.929442. Look at the cross crosses. Euro AUD. Okay, Euro AUD, we got a. Uh, lot of consolidation lots of consolidation over here okay probably wait for a pullback first okay i i would probably wait for a pullback before I execute any trade a pullback towards uh 148 1.48181 or 1.49567 okay better wait for a pullback before we buy euro cat okay similar okay wait for a pullback Possible towards uh, uh, one point three seven eight zero or one point three eight eight one one. Euro Swiss franc. Okay, similar. Give it for pullback. I don't think there's two line over here. Okay. Wait for a pullback towards one point zero two four two one. Or even lower, even higher, 1.033.12 for sell opportunity. Euro JPY, oh, a lot of consolidation over here. Okay, so this is not, not easy to trade. So uh, this one also, I will wait for pullback. Where's these two area? 1.134, 0.93, 133.54, okay, or even possible lower, 132.6, uh, 1.2 for buy, sell up. Euro pound. Okay, Euro pound, we got first break. Euro pound is still very, very sideways, but we do have a break over here. Okay, so there is a potential uh, sell. So this one is still uh consider uh, let me see uh, okay this one is still considered a downtrend but the, it did make a higher high over here but then it make a high lower low so this is quite sideways uh, okay this is quite sideways uh. this is like a broadening bottom it's like a broadening bottom okay so this is very uh tricky tricky to trade okay but we are still looking for sell due to the price is still on the downtrend right so we are looking to sell any pullback Towards 83, 0.83119 or 0.836898, we want to look for sell. Great Britain pound, also pound uh, continue to be weak, where Britain, uh, Great Britain pound is strengthening. So there is a, a possible buy trade over here, but uh, all the way up. So this one possible, you want to look for any trade, look for, wait for pullback first. Uh, okay, wait for pullback. Okay, now the price too extended to buy, so wait for pullback towards one six two eight six eight or one six zero one two nine for our buy. Pound Swiss franc, okay. Pound Swiss franc. Pound is getting stronger. Okay, pound is reversing. So uh, let me see. Uh, where is the
Okay, once the price break through, if the price break to 1.23503, we will change our buyers to buy. Eh? Okay, so this one, this could be a reversal on this uh, pound Swiss franc. There could be a reversal over here. Okay, if the price goes uh, above 1.23503, we want to look for buy. LDJPY where too extended, we don't want to buy. Okay, the price is too extended, too high to buy, so we want to wait for a drop. Okay, a drop towards this area. Uh, possible, I don't think here would be good. 90 or 89, this area, right? We want to wait, wait for bigger retracement in order for, uh, for buy opportunity. Uh, bigger retracement. AUD cat. So AUD cat, we are looking for buy opportunity. Uh, price is starting to retrace. Okay, see which level. See which it retrace to which level. Okay, I did rebound here at 0 0.93, 0 0.76 or 0 0.92353. Okay, look for buy. Okay. Look for buy signal for buy opportunity. Uh, the price will break up from the range uh, from the downtrend channel. So for go, okay, go, okay, go. We already take we already this one already hit target over here. So go, uh, it's too extended. Wait for a drop before we before we go into buy again. Uh, okay, wait for a drop. So there's a possible level over here also. Okay, so there's a possible buy level over here. One nine four three or one nine one two. Okay, so uh, this one continue to hold. We did, uh, there's a break uh, above this uh ninety eight point seven seven uh entry trigger. So this one price continue to hold probably around one zero seven take profit area. Okay. AUD AUS uh this uh SPI. This one continue to go up, but the price is congested over here. So uh better wait for. Deeper retracement to buy a uh, seven four one three seven three six one or seven three one one. The DEX, okay, DEX has been dropping. Uh, possible opportunity to buy. The price went through one four zero point one four zero three five. So now the price after it went through is starting to sideways a bit. But this one, if we open the trade, we continue to hold this trade uh, for for a target one three six zero eight. Nasdaq, so Nasdaq looks like con looks looks like one two three continuation, ah. Huh? Let me let me see the four hours. Okay, one two three, double bottom over here. You see right, double bottom. So one two three continue. So once the price break through, there's an opportunity to sell, uh, So we do have one, uh, trade possible trade over here today. Okay, possible trade setup over here. Once the price breaks to okay, opportunity to sell, opportunity to sell, uh, at uh, 13766, uh, okay, a break below, opportunity to sell. So, similar to S&P, uh, okay, S&P congest consolidation over here. So, if the price breaks through, Okay, breaks through this consolidation, there's a possible opportunity to sell, but this is not the right level. I think the level I, put, I got it wrong. The level is here. Okay, so there is an opportunity to sell towards uh, a break below here. Four three eight two. Okay, opening to sell towards four two nine seven. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll talk to you again. Oh, sorry, we still got Dow Jones. <laughs> okay, Dow Jones, we got pin bar over here. Okay, we got another pin bar. So there's opportunity to sell for Dow Jones. Okay, a pin bar from uh 
three four seven eight eight area towards this uh three four two oh two area okay you got a pin bar we got opportunity to sell a uh, rejection uh, at this area rejection 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 at three four seven eight so opportunity to sell this pin bar towards uh uh, 34202 or even lower 33573 okay so that's it i'll get back to you again uh tomorrow we got a weekly review okay i'll talk to you again bye bye